Hi, happy Sunday. Welcome to African Time on Instagram Live. This is episode... <laughs> I'm counting wrong. This is episode three. <laughs> Welcome to episode three of African Time on Instagram Live. My name is Amaru. I'm the founder of African in Zurich. And I'm really excited to invite amazing, amazing guests to this community and to this conversation today. So now we're live, now it's real. I'm just waiting for them to join online. So just waiting for them to come online so I can add them and this conversation can begin. I hope that you're having a great Sunday. I hope that you're doing good. And so I'm just going to, oh, perfect. I see them, they're here, okay. (laughs) So I'm going to try again to add them. And I think this time work. So it's loading. Hi, I see someone saying hi. Hi, Kiki here. How are you doing? Oh. (laughs) <laughs> Yay! Perfect! Hey! Hi guys, how are you? Fine, thank you. We are good, thank you. And you? Ah, very good. I'm so happy it's working now. <laughs> I'm so happy that we're here and we can have this conversation. Oh my gosh, so introduce yourselves. So? Yes. Okay, so my name is, uh, is uh, Malik, and uh, I'm, I'm working for a couple of years now here in Switzerland. I did my study, I did the army, I did everything here, so I've been in Switzerland for the past uh, a couple of decades now, and wow. uh, um, I'm always in love with all what comes from uh, my place, from Africa, and uh, what concerns our community. Amazing. Nice to meet you, Malik. Yeah. And... So, hi, I'm David. Uh, I'm, I was born in Haiti and I'm in Switzerland from a couple of years too. And uh, yeah, I'm living in Jura. Oh, wow. Okay. Amazing. Amazing. So, I know you, so, so David and Malik, so you have, do you have, how long have you known each other for? How long do we know each other? How did you meet? Ah, we we okay. We met um, uh, we met in a humanitarian uh, cause uh, NGO. Uh-huh. And, uh We've been working in this NGO for ten years now together. So uh-huh. it was uh, before a social enterprise. It, it was a social help to to our country, uh, uh, Haiti, like he said. We, we both are from uh, Haiti. Amazing, amazing. So tell me about African Sima. How does this come together? I'm so curious to hear how, you know, both of you meet working at, you, you, so you met in the social e- enterprise, right? So you worked, that's where you met. And then now you are working together with this amazing app that I would love to hear everything about. Yeah, exactly. For, for, for me, from my, my side, uh, the, um, the social enterprise started when um, I realized that our country has a lot of uh, resources, um, uh, good resources that, um, that do not reflect uh, actually the, the state of the country. And the social enterprise was to, to earn a sufficient amount of money from here to, to develop something over there for, 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 the, for, the, for the people in, in our country. Wow. Well, it's it's uh, social in that way. I mean, we <laughs> build an enterprise on the other side, uh, but what we do here from Switzerland is social. Amazing, yeah. And David? Uh, <laughs> the, the question was, we are looking for some uh, businesses, some services, uh, and we don't know uh, where to find it. And uh, the, the problem was uh, nobody knows uh, where is uh, uh, a business, a black owned business uh, in Switzerland, in Jura, mm-hmm. in Neuchâtel. And this is, uh, this is hard to find it. And uh, we will propose uh, a solution uh, for this question, and 
we have uh, we have uh, we have uh, we, we have list of uh, a solution uh, practical and uh, and good uh, where many many people use the same the, the problem was there was uh, so small initiative uh, mm -hmm. to to create visibility and to to show the, the talents from the, the black people and this is no a big uh, a big uh, uh, directory a big uh, and this is not uh, Yes, it, was, it felt it. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, the thing is also when when we we try to 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 build a, a network or a social enterprise or an enterprise, we we would like the the people that we help that that will help help us back too. And uh, we 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 found that uh, when we, we when we spend our money for for advertisement for, for to, to to move to travel, it's all the time money that comes out of our pocket and never comes back. So mm -hmm. naturally, we are we also we think our uh, interest first and the interest of our community is that the money we spend one day comes back our, uh, on, on what we are doing. And, uh -huh. and, and now it's not, it's not really the case. Now it's not really the case. We spend our money and it never comes back. Yeah. Okay, so let's, let's just backtrack a little bit, right? So we're talking about this app that, so the two of you created an app, right? Yes. Yes. Right, so you've created an app. It's called African Sima. Am I Am I pronouncing it correctly? African, African Sima. Sima. Yes, okay. African Sima. So what is African Sima? How, what is it? What does it do? Uh, uh, African Sima is uh, an, an app. You can uh, download it on your uh, Android device, on your uh, iOS device. And this is a directory uh, who lists the businesses and the services offered by the black people. And this, this app is uh, download, is available uh, for everybody. Everyone uh, yeah. want to, to find a black business or black services. Okay, is it only in, is it only in Switzerland or is it other places or the businesses, web, businesses from where? Uh, actually, now the the businesses are in Switzerland okay. <laughs> because we 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 would like to to gain a high standard with the businesses that comes in our app. So we visit uh, systematically the the businesses. We get to know with the owner. We we uh, ensure that the owner are, are from black uh, uh, origin. Uh, I mean, from Africa or Afro descent. And uh -huh. Also, the quality of the service we, we would like to, to, to know. So it takes time. Uh, we, we we need time to, to visit all the businesses. Okay, so, right. There, there are no businesses that comes on, on our platform just by call or just by uh, text message or on Facebook or on so on. We really take time to visit everybody. Oh wow! Okay, so you're saying something that makes your app different is that. You're not just listing everybody, you're actually checking the quality, making sure you know the business owners, making sure that they are actually black or African or, or Afro descendant um, people and, and you're making sure that they have legitimate services that you can actually say, yes, I know this business, they're a good business. And so people who are downloading your app can trust the businesses that you list. Is that what you're saying? Exactly, yes. exactly. Okay, okay, interesting. So somebody is asking a question She's saying that, um, what makes your app different? What is unique about African Sima? So the, the essence of our enterprise is really to empower the, the community. Uh, and it's empower the community by increasing the economics interaction uh, towards black owned business. 
So we really focus on the black owned businesses. And uh, every, like David said, every community, uh, Latin, Latino, uh, uh, Europeans, African, every community can download the app, find the businesses which are on the app and spend their money on the businesses. And every money that is spent within our app uh, uh, comes into the pockets of African or afro descent people. So this is really the, the oh, press wow. that, that, that this is really the insurance uh, of the, our, our, our job. Yes, okay. and, uh, and the quality of these mm -hmm. businesses so, are very important. Uh, as okay. well as we, we are looking for a good visibility so the the black people the black people has no a good uh, 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 picture in the world. So we we want to to do a good visibility. The the people can trust trust the app and uh, and uh, go uh, to the shop or to the restaurant or to the services. Uh, uh, and come back uh, with the uh, come back. Uh... Well, there, there's a system of notif of notation. The the people that that uh, like uh, trip advisor or something like this, you can mm -hmm. you can put a notation a notation on the business you visited to say yeah, so it's, a, it's, a, it's a it's a five star uh, business mm. or something like this, and. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, uh, the, the, the application has four tabs and the, the one tab is only a list of, of business by names. The okay. second tab is a map, so um, it takes into account the position of the user and mm -hmm. the position of the, all the businesses that are surrounding. Uh, and then we have a calendar. So uh -huh. for for the, 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 the services, the activities that, 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 that are doing the night or, or just one time, but it's not continuous, so we have a calendar. And the, uh -huh. fourth, the fourth tab is um, uh, we kept on the social enterprise. This is only for NGO uh, that can present for a couple of weeks one project uh, uh -huh. uh, of, the, uh, of the NGO. And then we, we, we list, we give all the data for people to, to help this NGO, but we are not a bank. We, we, we do not, uh, no money transit by us. We, we just show that on the, on, the, on the app. On the app, okay. So you're basically saying your app has four parts, right? Yes. So one part is the list of businesses. So people can go on the app and see a list of businesses. Exactly. Or they can see a map and see where the businesses are. Yes. And then the other part you're saying is they can see a calendar yes. of different events and see, oh, okay, this is happening on Friday, or well, they're able to see different events happening, right? Exactly. Okay. And, the, and yes. then the fourth part, the fourth part, if I'm correct, the four, if I heard you, so you have to correct me, okay? So the fourth part is NGOs and social enterprises. So you would highlight different NGOs, maybe a project from an NGO or an ent social enterprise, exactly. so people can support and basically know what they're doing. But what you're saying is that you don't handle the money. So if this NGO is raising money, you will show what was raised or you will basically share the information, but you're not really involved specifically with the funds or that's what you're saying, right? Exactly, exactly. That's amazing. That's really <laughs> impressive. That's, it's amazing. <laughs> That's so impressive. Okay, so there are questions. So there are people here. Thank you so much for joining. I have the wonderful David and Malik from African Sima, an app for Black-owned businesses in Switzerland, so African and Afro-descendant businesses. And what makes them special is that they actually make sure they know the businesses they're hosting. So it's high quality businesses. They, they check individually to make sure the quality is high. They also make sure the money is actually going to the right people. So these are actually black owned or African or Afro descendant businesses. Now, people have questions for you. So okay. let me just scroll up and let's answer this. You need to answer the questions. So somebody said, so somebody is asking, um, 
so what do they need? So what do the businesses need? Basically, what does someone need to become a member if they are interested? Yeah, actually, so the, the, the subscription is a, it's a yearly subscription uh, on our service. Um, okay. We defined three categories. Um, one are the, the first one are the businesses with the, uh, the commercial surface. Uh, um, how, how do we say it? Um, like commercial businesses? Uh, com yeah, com uh, but it has an address uh, on the street and it's not the... Uh, hair salon or... or it's, it's not the address or the personal address. It's the address of the business. Oh, like it's like the business address. So, yeah. okay, I understand. So, so this, okay. This, this is one category. The second category uh -huh. are the, the, the particular services. So this is the businesses that, were, that are given from the house. As well from the from, from home, personal, from home. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, like uh, catering, uh, this, this kind of thing, mm -hmm. and uh, also the, the the third category um, is now the people that start with a new businesses because uh, our service is also to encourage the 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 creation the creation talent within the community to emerge to to come out. So we, we, we did the kind of abonnement very, uh, if you can say, cheap, but with the same visibility like a big commerce, so uh, like a big business. So it's really the idea to, to, to encourage the, the emergence of new businesses within the, the community. Mm -hmm. so these are the three, the, the, the three categories. Okay, so the three categories of businesses that you accept or that you host on your app, yes. right? So pe okay. people that want to be on our, uh, our app, they just need to, to know which category that belongs to and then mm -hmm. to, to fill in the subscription form uh, available on, on the app. Or, okay. Or on the website. Okay. And okay. Then, so and then, we will contact, then we will contact them and we make uh, an offer and the business can say yes, no, and uh, we can adapt the offer. And then uh, actually, when they pay the fees, we they are on the they are on the on the network. Oh wow! Okay, okay. So I love this. So this is actually personalized, right? So somebody, let's say I have a business, so I have to decide: a, do I have a type of business that has a commercial address? Let's say a hair salon or a restaurant where you say, you know, this is the address. Do I have that type of business? Or do I have, say, a home salon or a home catering service? Or so I figure out, is that my business? Or the third is, am I just starting? So maybe I don't have an address yet. I'm an emerging business, right? Like a new business that's starting. So once I have decided which category I fit in, basically I can either go to your website, africansima.com. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. So I can go to africansima.com. Or I can go on the app itself, the African Sima app, which is available on Android and iOS, yes. and download. So you have a form there where I can apply. Yes, it, it, it. It's, it's maybe easier with the app because within the app, because the, the app is in three languages, but the website is in French now. But the, the yeah, app is in English, in, uh, in French, and in German on the app. Uh -huh. Okay, wait, that's important. That's so good to know. So when somebody, so when somebody downloads the app, they, they're able to choose either French or German or English. Yes. Yeah, that's actually it, com it comes automatically with the, the language of the, the smartphone. If you, if you currently use the German, it comes in German. Yeah. Wow. Okay, people. So this is amazing. It's really impressive because you're both native French speakers, you said, yes. but your English is amazing. And you've also incorporated <laughs> into the <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> okay. So I love this. So people don't worry. So it's in French, it's in German, it's in English on the app. So somebody can apply and then you're saying, so you, after they apply, you review the application and then you will make them an offer. Yes. Yes. And then they can say yes or no? Yes, because for instance, now with the, the COVID situation, the sanitary situation, we know that it's hard for, for any business to, to invest in marketing, in advertisement, this kind of thing. So we did a special, a special price 
uh, we decreased from 30% for this COVID time. Uh, any abandonment uh, for for the, the businesses, but that, that's that's a, that's a way for us to to help the the, the black owned businesses. It's amazing. Wow, that's really generous of you. Okay, so that definitely answers. Somebody was asking, is it a paid service for business owners? So I guess what you're saying is it is paid. So people do need to pay to be on the platform. Yes. Yes, yes. Like, the business yes. needs to pay, uh -huh. the, but the, the, the user of the application, that's a free app, so everyone okay. can download it, yes. Okay, so it's free for the user, so anybody who is looking for a business, they can download the app for free, but as a business, if you would like to be listed, you do need to pay a fee to be on this app, but what you're also saying is that you do have provisions for offers, especially during this this pandemic and the crisis, you say that you can give a business an offer and then you can discuss yes. if it works or not. So you are being flexible, right? Yes, exactly. That's what you're saying. Okay. So, uh, okay, that, that's, that's an uh, uh, important point. We, yes, we, 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 we are not seeking to to make a, a cycle with the money within the community. So uh, as an encouragement, we, we, we ask the business owners when another business comes to buy something in their business to, uh -huh. to, to give a, a discount, to give a discount. So mm -hmm. just, to, just to, to help people uh, to have the reflex when they, they are looking for a hairdresser, we are looking for clothes to, to address the question first uh, at the black community within the, the network, within the African okay. network. Wow, this heart's flying, by the way. So people are loving this. Someone just sent a heart. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> so there's love. <laughs> so, actually, that's one of the conditions to, to be part of, uh, of the... Um, uh, the network, we, the business has to subscribe and to, to admit that he will give a discount only for the members of the, of, of, of the network. Of the net wow. See, Mark, can you, you guys, can you see the hearts? You see yes, them, right? Uh, I see. Okay. <laughs> I just need you to know. So people, that's resonating. This, this is your community and they're saying, yes, we love this. Okay, that's beautiful. So I love that. Okay, so not only are businesses paying, to be a part of a community, a network yes. where users can find them and users can trust the type of businesses, but they're also getting access to a network of other business owners who sign an agreement to say, hey, I'm going to support and I will give discounts to other business owners within the African SIMA business community. When they buy from me, I will give them a discount. When I buy from them, I will get a discount. So why buy elsewhere when I can support this kind of community? Wow. 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 That's really wow. That's, wow. Thank you for okay. the hearts. We, we put also our hearts to just to, to, to raise all together, not, not one one millionaire and every, uh, everybody else is, is poor. We would like really now everybody to, to rise up together. Wow, wow, I love that. So you put, this is definitely a hard project. This is something you care about personally and you want to be able to create this space where we're growing together and we're all kind of, as opposed to one is getting rich, the other's getting poor. It's like, no, let's grow together. Wow, no, I love that's so beautiful. And so somebody, there are more questions, by the way. So somebody is asking, is it possible to be a member if we only have a website for the customers to buy our products? So basically, does somebody only have to have, can somebody only be a member if they have a website? If I don't have a website, can I still be a member? Someone is asking. Well, that, that, it means they are selling only online. Yeah, maybe they're only selling on their social media or... This is possible. This is not a problem. Uh, we have... Uh... Uh, we have uh, one uh, business. He he is selling only on uh, internet. This is no problem. This is uh, the part uh, the small businesses uh, without uh, uh, commercial surfaces. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, 
No problem. The, 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 only, the only thing is it doesn't appear on the map because uh, except, if, except if he gives uh, an address. But uh, right. yeah, the, he's, he's uh, losing a little strength when he has no point on the map because actually we, we don't really see him on the map. Okay. Okay, so that's important, right? So. But he, he can give uh, okay, that's his own address, and uh, his own address will be on the on the map. If he, mm -hmm. it's okay. not a problem. Okay, so that's important, though, people. So if you don't have a website, right? So what what you guys are saying is, if let's say I don't have a website, but I want to be on the app, basically, I can still give you an address. If I give you an address, say my home address, if I'm working from home, then somebody can look at the map and say, oh, in Dieticon, there's somebody who does hair. Yes. They'll be able to see it. But if I don't give an address, then it won't say. So basically, it will just show that, hey, there's a business, but people can't see where, the, is it in Winter Tour? Is it in Lausanne? Is it in, <laughs> people yes. won't know, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. If okay, you don't so give an address, uh, the business appearing just on the, the list uh, of the first uh, tab of the application. Mm -hmm. It appears uh, just on the list. Uh, so. Okay, right, okay. So, oh, by the way, people, so I see new people join, and I just want to say that please watch the replay, because earlier, um, Malik and David explained how the app works. So it has four parts. One is a list, one is a map, one is a calendar and one is a highlight of different different NGOs and different projects. So please watch before and so you can get the full picture. But yes, thank you for explaining that. So if somebody doesn't give you an address, they will only show up on the list and they won't show up on the, okay, the second part with a map. Interesting, okay. So there, there are more questions. Somebody um, is asking, how do you go about with online businesses? But I, I think you might have explained that, unless if there's something you want to say about that. Yeah, we, we can add that um, um, if someone provides us an address with the online businesses, we can put in the description that these businesses only sell online. So, mm -hmm. so in order just for uh, nobody comes in front of the house and say, hey, uh, I'm here, can I get uh, <laughs> <laughs> what I'm looking for. So we say that right. just online. Yeah. And and actually the businesses that are subscribed to our service, they get uh, an ID and a password and they can uh, put, um, let up to date all the information of the businesses. So it means, it means if, they, if they move, uh, they don't have to send the new address or the new phone number or anything. They just connect on the platform and they change their, their data. Amazing. I love it. So, 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 you, so I imagine that you set up the original profile, right? Yes. yes. Somebody applies, but then the businesses still get their password. They get an ID and yes. they're able to have their own access to their profile and change. If they move address, they can change the address. If they want to add special information, they can. They can yeah. put the uh, picture and um, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the website uh, from the all uh, for the owner is on the uh, link, and you can uh, click on the link and you go direct on the website from uh, the business, and uh, you can phone. Uh, the phone number is uh, uh, on the page, and you can phone the, the business. Directly with the smartphone. Directly from, from the smartphone. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No, this is really good. Thank you, you guys. Thank you for this. Is a really, this is good information. Um, so let me, there are more questions. I don't want people, there are new people joining and you're getting waves. You're getting some hearts. Somebody is raising their hands up. So you're getting a lot of love. People are sharing with their friends. Mm -hmm. Okay. So somebody says, so there's a question. Someone is asking, in case a business has two or more owners, is it sufficient if only one of them is from Africa? So let's say, let's say I am from India and then my partner is from China and then one of us is from Africa or Haiti or is Afro-descendant. 
Is that enough if we own the business together? Do we qualify to be listed on the African SIMA app? Basically, yes. Basically, yes. We have, uh, we have couples that are, uh, uh, one is from Africa or afro descent and the other is not. Um, we register this business in the name of the African person or afro descent person. Okay. <laughs> And uh, as long as this stays so, uh, the business is always displayed on our platform. Now, okay. if we have uh, uh, an enterprise with multiple parts and uh, the, we, we get the info or we, we get the impression that the African or the afro descent person has uh, only 5% of the, the whole, um, mm -hmm. in that way, we, we will review probably our, our statement because for okay. us, uh, what is important is really to, 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 to get the, the money to the African uh, community. Mm -hmm. And also for, for the mixed couples um, or the, um, uh, let's, say an, an, uh, let's take another example. Um, for a, a mixed community that, that, that is in, uh, behind the enterprise, mm -hmm. the, the um, very important aspect is when they get my money, for instance, I, I go to pay something, when, when I pay something, where does my money get first? With these people that are on the network, uh, do they have uh, the reflex, the first two? Uh, side where they will spend this money is into the network. So we, we, that's a discussion we have with David, but also with the, the owner. Uh, honestly, when you have to buy food, that's the first reflex is to buy in an Afro-African shop or afro descent shop. Is it the first reflex? And the, the, the person, we would like the person to be honest with it. Um, and, and, and to say yes or, or no. Uh -huh. So, so uh -huh. it, it's really important for us that the money is, uh, uh, stays into the, uh, the, the black community. And it, it mm -hmm. came all, already uh, two instances where we, two examples where, when we refuse uh, a business because we were feeling that um, the, 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 the black um, um, aspect was not respected wow i mean i mean that's that, that's a huge stand point that's a huge statement to be making with your with with your social enterprise right and i'm i'm, I'm i have a lot of admiration and respect for kind of that strong sense of hey we need money to stay within this community this is kind of a driving purpose and that doesn't necessarily mean that you have anything against any other communities but your, your primary goal is to kind of cultivate this economic growth within this community where you saw a gap and that's why you started your business correct or i i want to make sure i'm not putting words into your mouth or yeah i i, I just yeah i i respect that i respect that a lot my question then would be is I mean, so you're definitely operating a lot on trust in this case, right? So you said you hope that the business owners are honest with you. Um, but that's something that you can't really verify, right? We, we now don't have the, um, uh, the, all the ways to, um, uh, to, to look after the, the, the money that comes into the, the network and to know where uh, people spend wha what. So the, the confidence is the, the only thing we have now. We will work on it. And, mm -hmm. um, but we are looking also for signals that show that our, our network is growing. And uh, uh, a part of the, the, those signals are uh, the message that we receive. Oh, um, I, I've been in contact with this commerce, uh, with this business, and thank you, African Cinema. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, you put us um, into, into contact. Uh, all the people also that use our app, the, the, 
which are not uh, business owners, but they use the app and they find business. So we, we are a little working like this. We feel uh, within the community that our app is used and we feel also mm -hmm. that uh, the, the businesses get some uh, customers that before they wouldn't get. Yeah. No, Mason, there were hearts flying up, so I know, I hope you saw yeah. that. Yeah. That resonated with but, me. <laughs> It's hard, to, it's hard to express everything in, in English, but uh, I mean, I think the, 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 the idea is, is there. Yeah, no, I think it's there. And I mean, I, thank you so much for agreeing to do this interview in English. Sorry that my French is so bad. I really appreciate it. I know you're at a disadvantage because that, but I think you're, you, you're expressing, I think the message is coming across and thank you so much. I appreciate, I really appreciate you meeting me at this point. Okay, so somebody, so, so the comments, people saying thumbs up, you have hearts, you have somebody saying 100%, 100%, somebody sent you a heart, another heart, somebody saying yes, um, somebody says thank you, and then somebody said, this is a huge step of empowerment, togetherness and greatness. I hope we make proper use of this. Thank, thank you to the brothers and sisters. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for this. So someone is really appreciating this. So um, then somebody had sent this emoji. <laughs> and then <laughs> um, other thumbs up. Someone says, c'est super. <laughs> so, someone says, that's super. Um, thank you all. OK. OK. Wow, you guys, this has been a really, really amazing conversation. I really hope that you can come back and we can even talk more about this. Um, the time is coming to an end. Okay. And, and I just want to say, if people who are watching still have any questions, please send them. Malik and David are still here and I'm sure they're happy to answer your questions. So I'm going to ask questions because I still have a question. Okay. But if you have a question and you're watching, please send the question. So you can get the, the answer directly from Malik and from David while they're here. Um, so you sent me some clips of just some videos from the app. I don't know if you would like me to try and show them maybe. Yeah, Should maybe. we try that? Maybe? maybe? Okay, so I'm scrolling and then you can tell me, is that maybe this one? Is it, can you see it? Yeah, it's yes, it. yes. Yeah. We, we, so we see the, the categories, yes. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, so you can talk about it as it shows, actually. So uh, there is uh, many of uh, categories uh, for looking uh, for some businesses uh, like uh, food, uh, media, uh, finance, finance, and so. Uh, you can, uh, the, the businesses are uh, our listing on many of categories. Then we, we see the, the first shops. This is the register for the business. Uh, you need to follow the link. And then we uh -huh. enter here already. Okay, we are already on the, the events of today yeah. with the, with the yeah. dates and the place. But it goes a little fast. We, we, we don't have time to, to comment everything, but yeah. This is a little yeah. description for, from the event. Uh, there is the location of the, of the event, uh, yeah, with the website, the mail infos, and uh, yeah, this is the location. Okay, I yeah. think that was the same video that started. It's the same video, so, so I've, I've pressed the second video. Uh, yeah, the, this is the list uh, from the businesses. Yeah with all the businesses? With the, the images that they sent us. So the, the, the first image they sent us when they subscribe, this is what we see there. And after mm -hmm. that, when they come on the app, they can, uh, they, they can change it. They can connect by, by themselves and, and send all the information. And the, the, yellow nice. stars, the yellow stars are the rating. We can rate uh, every business, but also every event. Mm -hmm. Uh, and this is the future event, and this is the uh, this is the map uh, with the location from uh, the event uh, from today. 
Uh, this is the location from uh, the businesses in mm -hmm. uh, Geneva, uh, Lausanne, Fribourg, and we are looking for uh, now uh, businesses in the east uh, from Switzerland, so Zurich, Winterthur, yeah. uh, uh, each part of Switzerland. Mm -hmm. uh, no, and, amazing. And this is the location from. Uh, this is the the map, and you can use the map uh, like a GPS to go to the businesses. From, okay. From the place you are to to the business you want to visit. Nice. Okay. This is really nice to see. So okay. So now we we got to see. This is really, really nice to see. Okay, so we got to see how it works. Somebody asked, so there are two questions that I would like us to answer. I have to admit that I don't know how to end the slideshow. <laughs> so the map, will just <laughs> the map will just keep showing. I apologize, I apologize. <laughs> okay, so, so just ignore the map. Just imagine you're using the African Suma app. <laughs> And in the meantime, the two the, the two last questions that somebody asked that I would I would like to ask you people. So somebody says, somebody is asking, is there a rating option for users? So people who use the app can they also can they also rate the app? Of course, yes, of, of course. course. Okay. The, the, uh, everyone uh, everyone can rate the the businesses, and this is a uh, important. Uh, uh, because uh, we can see uh, the rating from the businesses and we can see that the the, the application is, is used. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah and so actually the, everyone can rate the, the, the shops, the businesses and the events without any connection because some others, uh, sometimes we need to connect email address or with the Facebook account or anything. Yeah. Uh, for, on this app, you, you can rate without giving out your identity. Okay, so somebody can anonymously rate, just rate the businesses and share their honest opinion. Yes. Yeah. yes. Okay. I mean, on the... Okay, interesting. Okay. For that's, example, that's uh, all uh, the people they are uh, looking this video can rate uh, the event from uh, today. Okay, yes, yeah, so people, so you can go on the African Sima app and rate this Instagram live, <laughs> right? That's what she's saying. Okay, yeah. amazing. Yeah. Amazing. But that's something I hope people didn't miss is that if you're an events organizer, you can also actually get on the African Sima app and advertise your events. So it's not just for businesses, right? It's also for events that are happening. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Okay, somebody, so somebody wants to know who is behind the engineering of the app. So who is behind the app design and the engineering? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I would say for the design, we took part into the, the process of designing the app. Uh, but for the, the development, we, we ask uh, a firm with professional persons to, to develop the app. Okay. We, we did not do by ourselves. Okay. Wow. Okay. So, so you, hired, you actually hired a different firm to develop it, but you were involved in the design process of the app. Yes. yes. So my last question to, to both of you would be, are you, is, is African Sima a black owned business <laughs> or is it an African or Afro decent um, owned yeah. business? Yes, completely, completely. completely. We are just we, uh, both. We, we, we took the, the money out of our pocket to, to give that to, to the community service, yes. We, okay. We, we don't have any part, any uh, uh, UN found uh, that help us. We, we pay that for by all, our own. Okay, okay. So hopefully next time when we come back, you can share some business advice for people who are starting their businesses and we can really kind of talk about that journey because I, I imagine it has not been easy and I'm curious about how you've come this far 
Um, so we can talk about that next time. Okay, with pleasure, with pleasure. Yes, I hope, yeah, that would be amazing. So tell me any last words, is there anything you want to say to people who are watching right now or watching the replay? Yeah, we, we would like to, to encourage really the, the people that comes in, uh, in Switzerland uh, or in Europe with uh, a lot of knowledge to, to express this knowledge at the same level the, that they have. Uh, for, for us, there is no way for, for um, a CEO in Africa to come here and to work as an employee or to work as uh, so something that is under his level in Africa. We would like the people to, that comes with a, a lot of knowledge to express this knowledge, to subscribe on our network and to appear uh, as they are, not, uh, not down on the scale. We, we are a little under, under scale of the black community. So we, we really have to be, to, to stay who we are. And if we are good in Africa, we are good here too. Amazing. David, do you want to say anything? Thank you, Malik. Uh, so you can use the app uh, as a bridge uh, between uh, the different, different parts of uh, Switzerland, of uh, Europe, and the different part of community. Uh, so it's uh, the, the goal of our app. Thank you. Thank you so much. Someone says, both of you deserve only my love. Somebody else says, well done, guys. People, thank you. Thank you so much, Malik. Thank you so much, David. Thank you, African Sima. Thank you, African and Zurich community. Thank you, everyone. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Amaru, for uh, inviting us. Thank you very much. Of course. My pleasure. Thank you. This has been amazing. I'm going to post the replay after this so you can watch the whole clip from the beginning to the end. And I will add tags of both, both your page and people can, so people can find you. Someone says, merci. So <laughs> thank you. So lots of love. Thank you, people. Bye. Happy Sunday. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.